give some of this wine to the philosopher, for he was confused, he thought, that we were in logical error. Falsafi zim bukhurat, falsafa ashqarq shavat, ke kuman dash ke mazan ilale fawsedeim, an nahangim ke dar ya bar ma yek qada hast. This is one of the poems that Rumi is maddened. He asks the Divine Beloved to give him some wine and grant some of that wine to the rationalist philosopher. He thought that in searching for reality, in searching for truth, reason alone is sufficient. He thought that we are talking nonsense. Cure such philosophers with divine love. This wine is so transformative and illuminating that everything... In the name of God, deal compassionate, deal merciful. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 7 of the Rumi podcast. In this episode, we are going to analyze Ghazal 1631 of Divan Shams Tabrizi. The key points in this poem concern divine love, love madness, divine wine, self-transcendence, self-transformation, the limitations of rational thought alone, and the supremacy of spiritual truth. We are going to read this beautiful poem line by line in the original language Farsi, and then we are going to examine it in English. Close the door, we love this tavern. Bring the wine of the soul, for we are light-hearted. The general theme of this poem is divine wine. Rumi says, close the door, let nobody enter, and don't ask us to leave, because we love this place. In Persian mystical poetry, a tavern has been interpreted in different ways. According to one popular interpretation, a tavern refers to the stage of fanai fillah, that is, uh, annihilation in God. But annihilation could be misleading here. Here, annihilation in God or fanai fillah basically means self-transcendence, a theme so common to Rumi's poems that we have been discussing this in every episode. The mystic delve so much into divine love that they become unaware of their individual self. They're epistemically unaware of their individual self. Again, there is a misunderstanding here among some Sufi readers who think that fanai fillah means ontological extinction, ontological destruction of the human being. There is no such thing. In the fanai fillah, the human being, the mystic, becomes epistemically unaware of, their, of themselves. They are so absorbed into the divine, so absorbed into the divine love. It's as if they are drunken. That's why Rumi refers to this whole state as drunkenness. And in Persian mystical poetry, uh, this stage is called tavern. Rumi tells the cupbearer, we have come a long, long way. We are tired, we are thirsty. We are thirsty for the divine love. Let the divine love flow through us. In Persian mystical poetry, wine refers to divine love, divine knowledge, and cupbearer refers to God. Sometimes cupbearer also refers to uh, the sheikh, the, uh, the leader in the spiritual journey. I was waiting for your wine desperately. So much so that Venus came in, offering me its own wine, offering me its own love. But I was so obsessed with your wine that I rejected every single time out of the hundreds of times Venus tried to quench my thirst. Close this door and open the door of your grace. Let the wine flow through it. Divine love is not something that the mystic gets to gain whenever he or she wishes. It's not that you start today and tomorrow you're going to experience that. Divine knowledge or divine wine are granted to you as divine grace. As Ibn Arabi mentions it in, uh, in Futuhat al makkiya you keep knocking that door, but it's not you who decides when that door opens. It is the Divine Beloved. This is why even when Rumi is intoxicated, even when he is selfless, he is still asking for a Divine Grace. It's you who should be opening the gates of your grace and your mercy and let that wine, let that love flow through me. Give me an ablution of resurrection with that wine. Let the uncertainties and all the temptations go away from me. What I have achieved through partial reason does not grant me full certainty. 
I don't understand the truth fully through reason. It is only that intoxication, only that selflessness, only that divine union that shows me the truth in a pure way. It is your love that grants pure knowledge. I'm begging you, please give us that wine. We have been the companions on this path from the beginning. We have dedicated ourselves to this journey, to the spiritual journey's arduous stages, not occupying ourselves with worldly matters not occupying ourselves with the trivialities. We have been steadfast and we have worked hard on this path. Show us your mercy and please grant us that wine. ما همه خفته تو بر ما لگدی چند زدی بر جهیدیم خمارانه در این عربده ایم. We were sleeping and you awakened us. We thought that we are awake in this material world. But you showed us that this was nothing but an illusion. We were sleeping, you kicked us, he says, and we jumped out of sleep, realizing that there are realms, there are truths behind the material world. You awakened us to this truth, you awakened us to this knowledge, and we are so drunk by this knowledge that we are in an uproar in this intoxication. <laughs> Do not grant your wine on those who are empty stomach. Forget about such principles. We are the angel of death to such rules. We have broken rules on this path. We have done away with the principles and rules in the material world. Please do not hold us to such disciplines. Falsafi zin bukhurat, falsafa ash qarq shabat. Ke koman daosh ke mazan ilale fawsedeyim. آن نهنگیم که دریا بر ما یک قده هست ما نه مردان سرید و عدس و ماعده ایم Give some of this wine to the philosopher for he was confused he thought that we as mystics, as sufis were in logical error the purely rational philosopher the materialist philosopher looks at reality through the lens of reason alone Give some of this wine to him he thought that in searching for reality in searching for truth reason alone is sufficient that is the only standard he thought that we are talking nonsense our perceptions our discussions are meaningless they are contrary to the logical rules so what we are saying is nothing but logical inconsistency he were such philosophers with divine love he thought that we are in error we are those whales that swim in the ocean of divine wine in the ocean of divine love searching for truth searching for divine treasures hela khamush kuno faida wa fazl behl kaza fazde qadahat faida ye faida in silent Let go of all the benefits that people seek and play with. All the benefits that we seek is in your cup. We pursue nothing but the divine love. Everything else is triviality to us. A mystic doesn't concern themselves with the mundane matters. When they are higher realities, why waste time with what is unimportant? Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please subscribe and like. It goes a long way. And see you soon in the next episode.